Jean-Baptiste Bernadotte is the most successful immigrant ever in the history of Sweden, but he is far from being the only one. During the last two centuries, Sweden has received large waves of immigration and many of the newcomers have played a major part in transforming Sweden from a poor country on the edge of Europe to a rich welfare state. The industrialization of Sweden in the 19th century was in large measure the work of immigrants with ideas and capital. Many of the successful sawmills in Norrland were founded and financed by immigrants. Families like Bunsov, Kempe and Dixon, who moved to Sweden from Germany and Britain. And if we look at other fields than industry, we see that the foreign influence on modern Swedish history and culture is easy to detect. The capital, Stockholm, is a splendid example. Gröna Lund, the city's amusement park, was founded by the German Jakob Schultheis in 1883. Tilska Galleriet, one of Sweden's foremost art museums, was built up by the banker Ernest Thiel, son of a French-speaking mechanical engineer from Belgium and a Jewish woman who had emigrated from Germany. The Grand Hotel, Stockholm's most prestigious hotel, which opened in 1874, was established by the French chef, Jean-François Rugy Cadier, whose parents ran an inn in the French Alps. NK, Stockholm's most famous department store, was founded in 1902 by Josef Sachs, son of a German-Jewish immigrant. Bukowski's, Sweden's foremost auction house, was founded by Henrik Bukowski, a Polish refugee who came to Sweden in 1864. The best-known publisher in Stockholm and all of Sweden, Bonniers, was founded by Albert Bonnier, an immigrant from Copenhagen who came from a German-Jewish family. Albert's publishing house was the first building block in what today is a powerful media empire. Similar lists could be compiled for many Swedish towns in the 19th century. In the restaurant and food businesses especially, immigrants were highly significant. Already in the 18th century, Frenchmen had moved to Sweden and founded coffee houses. And in the 19th century, patisseries and confectionery shops were also established by German and Swiss immigrants. If we add the immigrant restaurateurs, butchers and brewers, the picture becomes even clearer. Many ordinary workers also came to Sweden in the 19th century. Glass blowers, jute weavers, chocolate and caramel makers, coffee roasters and so on. In the decades around 1900, veritable immigrant communities arose in several industrial towns. At the same time, thousands of poor Jewish emigrants arrived from Eastern Europe to settle permanently in Sweden. The real boom in the history of Swedish immigration occurred in the 1950s and the 1960s. Swedish industry was flourishing, which led to a growing need for immigrant labor. Unemployment was non-existent and there were so many jobs that Swedish companies were forced to recruit people from abroad so that production would function. Hundreds of thousands of workers arrived from countries like Finland, Yugoslavia, Turkey, Greece and Italy. Between 1946 and 2009, some 2.9 million people immigrated to Sweden. Finnish immigration in particular was astonishingly high, around 450,000 people. In addition to this, there was extensive immigration of refugees. In the years between the wars, Swedish refugee policy was restrictive, but this changed dramatically in the 1940s. Tens of thousands of people fled from the Baltic and Nordic countries to Sweden during the Second World War. Around 60,000 Norwegians, 16,000 Danes, between 20,000 and 25,000 Estonians, 3,000 Latvians. The best known immigration consisted of children, between 65 and 70,000 so-called war children who arrived from Finland. In addition to this, tens of thousands of people liberated from concentration camps were brought to Sweden through the rescue actions of Folke Bernadotte in the closing phase of the war in 1945. Since then, the flows of refugees have continued to reach Sweden as political crises in other countries have impelled people to flee. From Hungary in 1956, Greece in 1967, Czechoslovakia in 1968, Chile in 1973, Turkey in 1976, Vietnam in 1979 and so on. 
tens of thousands of people in all. Refugee immigration to Sweden reached really large levels in the second half of the 1980s. In the years between 1987 and 1990, some 20,000 refugees arrived each year, and in the first half of the 1990s, more than 100,000 people came to Sweden from the war zones in the Balkans. Refugee immigration has continued since then, periodically rising and falling, with 2015 as its latest peak. If Sweden today is a successful and prosperous country, it is in large measure because the country has welcomed immigrants. The Bernadotte family from Po is a splendid example of the importance of keeping our borders open to talented and enterprising people who, for various reasons, choose to leave their homeland to create a new future for themselves in countries which they take to their hearts.